Well, this is an update on uh, Frog Z. Um, had to build a special paint booth to uh, do the undercoating and a bunch of touch-up work. And so we're going to make a quick tour of my uh, low-tech uh, paint booth. Uh, this is probably one of the very few paint booths that has a hoist built into it. Uh, you'll see as we go inside uh, that uh, it was uh, really a trick thing and worked really good. So we're going to take a quick round around the paint booth. Uh, first thing you notice down here at the bottom uh, has some four-inch uh, fire hose strung around the entire perimeter out to the garage door on both sides. Uh, fill full of water just to have something to tie the bottom of this uh, uh, paint booth, we'll call it, down. Uh, anyway, it's uh, approximately 12 feet tall. Normally a paint booth isn't that tall, but uh, we got this hoist inside that's functional. It works really good. We can uh, get underneath there. Yesterday I ran the pressure washer with the car up in the air and uh, got the underside all cleaned up really good. Today I shot it with uh, some undercoating. So anyway, uh, there we are. That's paint booth. Uh, there's a good view from up on top, up in the driver's lounge. But we'll go around and go inside here and show you what we've got here. Of course, we've got all the controls there and everything. Uh, made a special little window here so I could hit the up and down on the hoist. I can go in there and you can see inside uh, that's my window to run the controls from the inside. Yeah. Takes a lot of uh, forethought sometimes to figure out how to do this in the backyard setting. Got a really nice door here. If I can find it, oh, there it is. This is the back door. Of course, there's uh, the dog's door. And we also use that door right there to ventilate the place where we put a fan in and blow all the extra air out. There's the end of the four inch fire hose all crimped off so the water won't run out. We're going to go inside now and take a look. This is what the booth looks like on the inside. 12 feet in the air. There's another door over there. You can see it. it's a lot of low-tech uh, door building material there. It works. But anyway, uh, we got some heat in here. we got some light. Uh, have a little bit of brake fluid here just... Uh, because you need to take a break once in a while. Uh, that's the undercoating we use. We use about approximately 12 cans of undercoating. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd come in yesterday with all my rain gear on and uh, washed off the undercarriage of this car. You can see there she is. There's the fuel tank. Uh, it's primed. I'm going to paint it black. Uh, I didn't undercoat the fuel tank itself. However, it did undercoat all the fender wells. The entire undercarriage of the car is all undercoated. Looking pretty good. It's up in the air now, as you can see. We had it down the ground where we could see what was happening. It did get the floor a little bit dirty. There's rubber stuff all over the floor I'll have to clean up. But oh well, that's what happens. Anyway, we're going walking up towards the engine compartment. Uh, there's the hood, front end of the car. Frame rail, we'll go up into the front fender area. Probably pretty black up there in this video. There's the edge of the fenders, front end, air dam. So we're in pretty good shape there. You, uh, in a previous video, you saw the engine compartment from a different angle. Anyway, here it is uh, on the bottom side, all this uh, nice rubberized uh, undercoating. Uh, should help with the hush mat sound dead near above. This will be one of the quietest running cars in town. Uh, had a little blend area there between the paint and the rubberized sound deadening. Anyway, there we are. Uh, that's the uh, car up on the hoist. I'm going to back up here a little bit. I don't kill myself. 
there's what she looks like. Anyway, that's the latest update we have on the Frog Z. Uh, we'll uh, keep you posted on things as they progress.